Every boat has a story and this pilot's house trawler 44 is no exception. Back in 2022, Luke, the current owner, came across this boat while browsing an auction site. At the time, he was looking for work boats like tugboats, projects he could take on in his spare time. With two young children, he was searching for something manageable yet meaningful. When he first saw this vessel, he was captivated. The build quality, especially the engine room, was remarkable. True Dutch boat building craftsmanship. Its rugged, workboat-like design resonated deeply with him. Although the interior was rough and unfinished, Luke saw potential. The boat has a unique and bittersweet past. It was built from the keel up by its original owner and a close friend, a skilled steel worker. Together they worked tirelessly on the project, but sadly the steel worker passed away shortly after completing the bare bones of the boat. The project was left unfinished and unused for years, eventually passing to another owner who began working on it but couldn't see it through. That's when Luke stepped in and purchased it in 2022, ready to continue the story. For Luke, this wasn't just another purchase, it was a vision and an opportunity to continue the journey of this incredible boat. Over the last couple of years, I've got to know you, my subscribers, pretty well, and I've got a really good feeling you're gonna love this boat. She's very unique, uh, and it's been a real one that's come on board uh, and shoot some footage and go out for the sea trial. Before I do take you around, please don't forget to give the video a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it is really important if you can hit that subscribe button, because as is the way with the world, of yacht tubers and YouTube in general. The more subscribers I get, the more boats like this I can get on. So please do subscribe. But anyway, enough of that. Let's crack on with the yacht tour. When the owner of this boat contacted me a few months ago and said, look, I'm working on a project. Once it's finished, you want to come over to the Netherlands and film my boat? As soon as I saw it, I thought, absolutely, get me on board. So here I am. And this is a boat that I know many of you my subscribers are gonna absolutely love. If you love trawler style yachts, you're gonna love this boat. Starting with the stern, obviously we've got that canoe shaped stern there. And if we have a little peer through the window, you'll get a bit of a taster for what you can expect when we go inside. Uh, it is a steel hull as well. And one of the things that I really like, if we come over and have a look at the superstructure, I love the fact that you can see these rivets look on the exterior of the superstructure. Of course, lots of scuppers on here as well. So if you do get any water coming over the deck when you're plowing through those big waves, uh, then it's gonna wash off very, very quickly. But yeah, if I take you up to the end of this pontoon and just pan backwards, look, you can see those forward raking windows on that pilot house. A really, really good traditional trawler style boat. All right, let's jump on board. What I'm gonna do we show you around the outside before we go inside because I've got a feeling it's probably going to start raining at some point. And if we head aft here, got a fantastic area look. And the lines are really, really easy to work on this boat. So if you're thinking of buying a boat uh, as an owner operator, this is a really, really good option. Um, when we came back in, it was just me and the owner. Uh, and he pretty much did all the lines himself, to be fair, uh, whilst I was doing some filming. So it is a very, very easy boat to handle if you're looking for a vessel that requires minimal amounts of crew. Um, if it's just you and your partner, then this is a really good choice. As you can see, look, big old skylight there. And obviously we'll see on the other side of that in a minute when we go inside. If I take you over here onto the port side, open up this, and you can see we've got a storage area in there. I'll shut that twist that and we've got another one up here as well so you can open up this and there we go look you can stow away some more gear in there short power connector up there look 
and that big window that you can open up as well. Spin around again just so I can show you that canoe shaped stern as you can see look bollard over there on the port side and another one over there on the starboard side and look everything you need to make bringing her alongside and casting off as easy as possible and if I take you over here and go up these steps and show you the view from atop the coach roof but yeah look if you wanted to secure some life rafts on this boat if you were going to be doing some serious cruising this would be a good place to keep them and of course at the moment she doesn't have a radar but she's obviously got the radar mast so you can get a radar up there fix the ray if you wanted to or a traditional spinning radar and you can see like the boom arms on here as well one on the port side and there is one over here on the starboard side so if you want to get some flopper stoppers on here you can of course do that she doesn't have them at the moment, but there's something you could easily fit on. Look, over there on the port side, coach roof, we have the exhaust for the single engine. I'll take you down into the engine room in just a second. Again, I was very, very impressed by the engine room. When you're on a boat of this size, you don't expect to be able to go into an engine room uh, where you can stand up, uh, but you really can. And you've got a, quite a bit of space above you as well, but we'll, we'll see that in a minute. Again, look, plenty to hang on to. So when you are walking around the boat, you're gonna be sure to be nice and safe and secure because you've got a handrail over here on the superstructure. And obviously we've got the sea rail as well. Boarding gate there amidships, another bollard down there. And you can access the pilot house, both on the port and the starboard side as well. well I'll take you up forward. This raised bit of the deck area here gives you some additional headroom when you're down below and you'll see that. But of course we have these four vents that you can open up. So whilst you are on the way, you can get some really good ventilation uh, around this boat. But yeah, look at that, check out that pilot house. Those traditional forward raking windows there. Really good visibility uh, on this boat when you're at the helm. Uh, and I'll show you some footage obviously of us underway in the video. This pilot's house trawler is equipped with a Vetus 24 volt electric windlass offering reliable power for anchor handling. Paired with a sturdy chain setup and a robust anchor it's designed for secure and easy mooring in a variety of different conditions. Okay as you can probably tell it is very cold so I'm going to go inside now and show you around this very interesting boat. Open up this the obligatory welcome aboard mat there. Right, let's jump in. Take my shoes off. Oh, it's great to be back in the warm again. Okay, so obviously we've got the helm station there. I'm gonna show you around that in a second. But first, after the helm station, we have this seating area here. So a really nice area to sit down, relax, enjoy a meal, uh, watch the captain whilst he or she is underway. And because of the amount of windows you've got in here, you've got a phenomenal amount of natural light coming in. And obviously look, there's the other side of that window that you can open up if you want some ventilation in here. But yeah, really nice seating area over here. And in fact, if I shimmy around here and sit down, yeah, you know, that's the view you get. Very nice, very cozy. But yeah, fantastic all round view. And as I say, look, if you look over, to the captain's chair, look, you get a really good appreciation for just how good the visibility is on this boat. But okay, right, let's jump up. Uh, let's go and do the accommodation first. So we descend down this ladder here. And let's go into this one first. And here we have a bathroom. Obviously sink over there, and you've got the shower on this bulkhead. And of course, we have a washer dryer over there, and the toilet. But if I stand in here, plenty of headroom in here. I'm not having to crouch down, which is great, because the last thing you want to be doing when you're having a shower on board a boat is being hunched over and crouched down. We do have a porthole 
over there as well that we can open up. But yeah, very nice. Right, let's come out of here. Shut this door. I'll take you into the Ford cabin. And here we go. This is the Ford cabin or the owner's cabin on this boat. As you can see, a nice size bed there. And check out the amount of stories that you've got thanks to the cabinetry all around this bed. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no fewer than six covers there. Porthole over there on the starboard side. And one, another thing that I like in this cabin is the fact you've got, look, a seat over there. So when you get up in the morning and you get your coffee or your tea and your other half can sit opposite you, you can sit and decide what you're going to do for the day. But yeah, look, plenty of storage underneath the bed as well. But it's very bright, very airy in here. Obviously nice modern touch as well. As I said before, the boat has just been through a refit and the owner has done a fantastic job of this. Really, really good job. As you can see, look, there's the other side of one of the vents and the other side of another one there. And of course, we've got the skylight. So when you're laying in bed, if you want to take in the view of a starlit sky, you can, of course, do that. All right, let's spin around. I'll take you into the guest cabin. So we come out here, shut this door. There we go, open this one. And here we have a very cosy single. So again, porthole over there, you can open up for some ventilation. Another vent up there, look. Some more storage underneath the bed. And of course you can see the outlet for the Webasto heater as well. But if I spin around here, you can see, look, you've got some shelves so you can keep your books, your iPad, uh, whatever it is you want to keep in there, you can stow away. And again, I like the lighting on this boat, indirect lighting, not too overbearing, nice and subtle. So you still get a nice, warm, cozy feel when you're on board this boat. And I'll be interested to know, if you purchased this boat, where would you take her and why? Let me know in the comments. Right, let's ascend back up this ladder. I might as well actually wind back up here, show you the helm station. Now look, that's the door that we came through on the port side. There is another one over there on the starboard side as well. So again, when you are operating this boat, either on your own uh, or as a couple, you've got quick and easy access out onto both side decks there. Over here, look, we've got a, an iPad that's been set up. There's the chart display, a nice ship's wheel there. It does have a bow thruster on this boat as well. And seeing that in action, when we were coming into this quite tight space, it was very impressive. Uh, the owner of this boat is a uh, professional seaman as well. Uh, he is actually the captain of uh, a pilot boat, uh, a very big pilot boat. He was showing me some pictures earlier on. And there is a chance, if you're interested, I might be able to go out on the pilot boat. And when I say it's a big pilot boat, it's actually got a crew of 18. So if you want to see that video, if you want me to come back to the Netherlands and join the owner for a day at sea with him and his 18 crew, please let me know in the comments and we'll make that happen. Anyway, back to this beautiful boat. Here we've got two VHF radios, a nice seat as well there. And of course, I'm gonna sit on there and show you the view, the captain's view. There we go, look, look at that. Three big windows, so you get a nice view out there. And of course, if you are coming stern too, like we did, you do get a view aft as well. The NAV and comms systems include a Furuno FAP autopilot, a true heading satellite compass, a NASA depth gauge and two Sailor RT2048 marine radios. Steering is hydraulic with a single rudder joystick control and a 24 volt emergency steering system. Over here on the port side, you've got the display for the single engine and there's some more switches over there. And of course, over here, just to the left, we have the throttle control and my jacket. Just move my jacket out of the way so you can see that. So yeah, there we go. Very good position, amidships of course. I always prefer a helm seat amidships. I just find it a lot easier, I think, when you're underway. But I love this wheel. 
and yeah check out that view I could definitely see myself underway on this boat heading down to the Mediterranean for the summer with my wife I'd have to pick one of my kids because I've only got one bed on here other than the obviously the owner's cabin so I'd have to choose between my son and my daughter no only kidding I'm sure I'll find a way to bring both of them another thing that's important to point out as well so you might look at this staircase that leads down into the galley and think well hang on a second when you're coming down there what are you going to hold on to when you're at sea but look integrated into this bit of cabinetry here we do have some fiddles so as you're descending down the steps you've got something you can hang on to which is really important obviously another area to store some stuff in there and here we go into the saloon i must admit when i first saw the canoe stern on this boat i assumed that this would be a cabin um, but obviously it's not i love this i love this setup I would imagine it'd be quite easy to set up into a cabin if you wanted to, but I think as an owner operator or as an owner couple, this is a really, really good setup. If it's just gonna be you and your other half and maybe a visitor every now and again in that guest cabin. But look, if we come and sit over here, plenty of natural light. We've got lots of portholes. Again, all these can be opened up as well. So you get some nice fresh air pumping through here. But at the moment those heaters are on and it is very cozy and very warm but look if we sit back here look take a moment to get my breath back and show you the view there we have access into the engine room and of course you've got the galley over there on the starboard side but i love this laser etched picture of the boat as well if you can see that very nice Yes, very nice, very cozy feel in here. Okay, over here on the port side, obviously we've got some cabinetry you can store your stuff in. I'm not gonna open all them up. We've got three cupboards there, and another three up there as well. Another port hole over there. And over here on the starboard side, we have the L-shaped galley. So stainless steel sink, induction hob, obligatory coffee maker there which produced some very nice coffee earlier on, I must say. Have a microwave there, look. Open up some of these. There we go. Cupboard there for your storage. Open this up. We have the fridge. And to the left of that, we have a dishwasher. So there we go, look, if you're gonna be cooking up a meal, or your partner's over there working out where you're gonna be visiting on your journey, it's a very, very good setup, very nice, very informal way of cooking up your meal at the same time. Just chatting to the other half. And let another big skylight there look. But yeah, I absolutely love this area. But as always, I'm interested to hear what you think. So let me know in the comments. All right, let's spin around and I'll show you how much headroom you get down here as well. There's a the control there, look for the heater but let me take you into this engine room very very impressive engine room it's even warmer in here because of course we've just been out on the sea trial the vessel is equipped with a bmc stamford 17.5 kva generator providing primary onboard power along with a 5 kva shaft generator and a 2 kva emergency generator powering the boat is a daf 1160 dka diesel engine with six cylinders and 220 horsepower with a cruising speed of seven knots and a top speed of 10 knots it's designed for dependable efficient performance on long range journeys in addition to the main engine this vessel features a hydraulic backup drive powered by a perkins hydraulic unit this secondary propulsion system equipped with a folding propeller ensures continued maneuverability if the main engine encounters issues the hydraulic system also powers a 12 horsepower proportional bow thruster for tankage the boat can carry 3800 liters of diesel fuel split across multiple tanks Freshwater storage includes two tanks with a combined capacity of 1,000 litres and a 250 litre black water capacity. Here's a clip of the engine running.
So earlier on in the video, I was telling you about how much headroom you get in this engine room, considering we are on a boat of this size. The fact that you can stand up in here and the fact you can walk around the engine and get to every part of the engine that you need to get to for your maintenance is very, very impressive. And is one of the things that makes this boat very unique. Really good in engine room. And if you are into the engineering side of boating, I'll be interested to know what you think of this space. So please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's come back out. Back into the saloon in the galley. We'll spin around, put one of the dogs on. But yeah, check out that door. Very nice, very impressive. Come back up into the pilot house. And that is that. When it comes to her range, she only burns around eight liters of fuel per hour when motoring at around seven knots, which means that she has an impressive range of around 3,300 nautical miles. Thanks for joining me on this yacht tour. I'm really interested to hear what you think of this boat. So let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to the owner for inviting me on board uh, and for contacting me a few months ago uh, and keeping me updated in terms of how this project was going for him. Uh, it's been a real honour to come on board and film and show you around. Uh, and I've really enjoyed spending some time with the owner. Uh, as I said earlier on in the video, he is a professional seaman. He's a captain uh, of a very large pilot boat that has a crew of 18. Uh, and he has invited me on board. Uh, for the day as well. So if you want me to come back to the Netherlands, take you out for the day on board uh, this massive pilot boat uh, that has uh, pilot tenders, which I've not seen before, then let me know in the comments and I'll come back and make a video. Uh, I think you'll quite enjoy that. And I know I certainly would enjoy uh, filming it. Uh, but if you are interested in finding out more about this boat, she is currently for sale uh, at the time of making and uploading this video and I'll leave a link to the listing broker's website in the video description. Uh, if you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my channel, feel free to get in contact with me. Uh, I'll leave all my contact details via a link pinned in the comments. Uh, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my free newsletter. If you're interested in explorer yachts, trawler yachts, expedition yachts, then I often write about what's going on in the wonderful world of Explorer Yachts. So if you want to sign up for that newsletter, again, I'll leave a link in the video description. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to give the video a like, and please, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I really do appreciate it. But until next time, fair winds and following seas. This is the 85th Trawler Yachts that I've now featured on my YouTube channel. And if you want to check out the other 84 videos, I'll leave a link to my Trawler Yacht playlist in the video description.